locations have been open since early this morning for the state primary today. Local 3's Brianna McLean has more on how things have been going in Marquette County. I visited a couple of different polling locations around Marquette County earlier today. Due to COVID-19 and mail-in voting being an option for Michigan voters, absent voter ballot numbers are up from previous elections. Our absentee ballots, of course, are higher this year. We expected that. And, and I thank all of you for doing that. I think that's a, that's a wonderful opportunity to get your voice heard and to make your vote count. But we still have our polling locations open. As of about 3 p.m., Telsma also said that voter turnout at polling locations were very low. And in Nagani Township, Rachel Sartich has been township clerk for two decades. She said this is the most absentee ballots they've ever sent out. Relatively light as a little after 10 o'clock. We only have 65 voters uh, that have gone through the poll which is rather anticipated due to the number of absentee ballots. Currently, we had 732 up until this point in time. The highest count we had had was 437 back in 2016. So with COVID precautions and everybody receiving an application to do an AV ballot, we've seen an awesome uh, amount of support and an awesome turnout as regards to that. Polling locations around Marquette County seem to implement safety precautions for voters and volunteers. Although masks aren't required, masks were provided at the locations I went to. Alongside hand sanitizer, six feet distance markers, and cleaning booths between voters. Voters are also reminded that if you are voting by absentee ballot, they need to be dropped off at your local election clerk's office or drop box by 8 p.m. Eastern tonight. Reporting from your local election headquarters, Brianna McLean, Local 3 News.